Hello again, it's Jacob at Mars Heating, here to talk about a uh, project that we are just now finishing up. As you can see here, we've got a 5-ton American Standard Variable Speed Communicating Outdoor Unit. This is the best of the best, and uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big guy. Wasn't that fun to get up the hill here. Um, right here is a mechanical room that just got built for purpose of the air handler and as you can see all this soffit here in there is actually duct work and in all these access ports here are dampers and damper motors this is a four zone system um, this house was built with radiant floors only and there was no no crawl space no attic uh, didn't want to expose duct work and did not want any ductless heat pumps and so we figured the only way we could do it was by bringing the ductwork in through the outside walls and that's exactly what we did through some clever engineering and lots of thinking. Um, if we go over here into the mechanical room, you'll get to see this is our air handler. It's a TAM air handler. Really beautifully installed. This was actually fairly easy to install all this with the, we have a lot of help from American Standard and, and uh, it's just been great. This is like I said a four zone system and here's our zone panel here and if we pop this off you can see all our wiring for all of our zones. Right now I'm running an airflow capacity test on the zones and basically what that's going to do is these dampers are going to figure out by themselves how open and how closed they need to be to get the optimal airflow to each room, optimal CFM. Um, to go over here, I mean, this is our supply side, and basically there's a splitter in here, and this splits off to two 14-inch ducts, and I know what you're thinking, 14-inch ducts are pretty big, but with any zone system, you really need to oversize your duct work and let your dampers work and let it be. So we thought about it for a long time. We did a lot of math on this one and uh, found out what, what we needed to do to make it perform the way we wanted. And it has been performing beautifully. We welded up this stand here for the unit. And, um, I'll try to include some pictures in the post of how it went uh, along the way. It's actually really interesting to see the whole project come together. Yeah, like I said, so these soffits go, they go along the whole, side of the building here. Like I said, those are all damper ports. Four zones. This ductwork that wraps around the house goes to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen zone. Another damper. And then this is a damper for uh, a bedroom. Another bedroom. All the upstairs bedrooms are on a zone. Kitchen is its own zone. Main living area is a zone. And the master bedroom and bathroom are their own zone. All in all, I believe we had about eight dampers and some of them are tied together. Uh, but yeah, no, this system has been great. Performs beautifully with both heating and cooling. And uh, they are really, really excited to have air conditioning finally because they've got a lot of windows and it warms up very quickly in this house. So. Yep, we're, we're really happy with it, and we're just now getting to test out the heating, seeing as it's October, and it's doing great. So, until next time, talk to you later.